So set aside your schedule and make sure that you are not the one being left out. All right, we already saw Kevin do a great job against Coffee Bug. His punish game is absolutely on point right now. And it's worth noting, against Coffee Bug specifically, the edge guards were what made it for him. And Ness is a character that definitely can get edge guarded, especially the fact that Mario has specific tools that he can use to actually edge guard Ness. He has Cape. He also has, oh, Flood, if uh, Tony is not careful with how he's recovering. I think we're going to be seeing a lot of air dodging to the ledge, if you know what I mean, because I don't think he's going to want to be hitting up B while he's off stage. Anyway, uh, to talk about the actual state of the game right now, 108 on Tony hasn't really managed to get any of that uh, reciprocated onto Kevin. 31%, and uh, wow, Mario hitboxes, they're so weird. Like, they, they, like down air, it's bigger than it looks, and that's like the only one he has that's kind of, oh my god, what are you doing there? <gasps> oh my god, the cape! He SDI'd, got the cape, it became his own fire. Tony was not ready for that, and he actually got F smashed out of his own. Oh, what a turnaround right there. And things are looking kind of grim for Tony. He does have Kevin at the ledge. What can he actually do with this? Going off stage for a forward air. A little bit of an overextension. That up smash is not enough to do it. 120 sitting on uh, Kevin right now. At the ledge, I love that patience. No, I don't. Tony is more patient than he is. Just scouted out that ledge jump so well. But even, this is an even game. This started off really well for Kevin, and then, uh, oh, again. Wow, the SDI to just picking the correct option out of those PK fires. Some people, you know, if they get stuck in PK, oh my god, are you dead? Are you done? You're fine. I mean, you're at 70, but you're fine. Oh, I love that! He was so ready for an air dodge. He was ready and waiting, and Tony did not give it to him. Actually, threw out that aggressive option. I think that uh, you know, Kevin's trying to go for some hard reads, and you know, Tony Pajamas just being a little bit too slippery. He's not getting these big extensions that we know Kevin can get. He's just not getting them. <gasps> the whiff on that grab. I oh, I was about to say I really like that way of getting back to the ledge, but. Kevin just putting himself at the perfect spacing for that up smash. I believe it would have covered neutral getup. It covered that aerial on reaction. I think if you rolled in, it also would have covered. So just great positioning and placement. Kevin realizing sort of where he needs to be to take his advantage to the most. All right, kind of throwing out a lot of these aerials. We're actually seeing Kevin be a little bit more patient, very careful with where he is moving. All right, as I say that, he actually was behind Ness, but that hitbox is so big, and that forward air end up leading to the back air at the ledge. We once more have a very even game state. Trying to run through, actually spot dodges that. That's could be really big. <laughs> One thing we really haven't seen so much of, I mean, we saw Tony go for it a little bit. Was, ooh, trying to absorb... Uh, Oh, what a good PK Thunder right there. Kind of recognized that Kevin was not going to go off stage at that point. But uh, absorbing the fireballs with uh, Simon right now. I think he's worried that he might absorb it, feel like 8%, and then take a bunch of damage in the uh, in the lag of it. <laughs> Which, I mean, considering Kevin's punish game, a very uh, salient threat. Okay. We actually have a completely even game here. Both these characters... Really strong, however, I'd say that Tony probably has a little bit more consistency on that kill power. Yeah, he's looking for the back air at the ledge. That might even do it here. Oh, and he heals! That's actually massive at this point. The fact that he healed, I don't even think an up smash would kill if he, if he manages to land one. It brings him out of that range, meaning that he can play a little bit more comfortably. And putting him at the ledge continuously, he's trying to find that finishing hit. The, oh, the ultimate ending blow. Kevin finally opening him up, just barely beautiful air dodge and drifting magnificently along with it. Kevin still trapped at the ledge, forward tilt would have done it, but it misses. Kevin still alive right now, but 151, he just barely makes it to the ledge. And the down air, that sent him so far, the rage scaled so powerfully. He's looking for these smash attacks of one of those lands. Tony is absolutely done here. He knows that, that neutral air, it's the weak neutral air, how is he? These hits from Ness, I can't believe they're not doing the job. Finally, again, the neutral or not, it must be so stale at this point. He's still looking for it. Up smash doesn't land. He didn't grab. 
<laughs> you didn't grab right there! That was such a brave roll and it didn't work! And there it is, the DVZ moment! Kevin dropping the stock right there, finally, to like the eighth neutral air, despite how stale that move was. Uh, yeah, 180 or whatever that was, that'll finish the job. Drink water, kids. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> that was an intense as hell game one. Oh. Uh, you know, I'm glad I stayed on for one more set because I, I very conceivably could see every single game <laughs> kind of playing out very similar. Kevin's survivability was stellar. Tony was just a little bit, like, a little bit of nerves right there. He wasn't necessarily finding those kill options, playing very safe. You know, he went for a lot of neutral airs, which is, oh, among Ness's kill options, one of the most, uh, you know, the hardest to punish. But you saw it didn't actually end things until, like, 170. So as we move into the next game, Kevin is able to survive like that once more. I don't know how it's going to go. But nonetheless, I do think that to go beyond just the, you know, the percentages and the survivability, you saw what worked out for Tony Pajama so well in that game. He finally started putting Kevin at the ledge and keeping him there, doing more and more damage. And it, as the damage racked up, you know, a neutral air at low percent doesn't send him that far. He still has options. But as that percentage grows, it also means that, ooh, okay, interesting. Uh, He's going to be put in farther, farther out there, and it's going to be easier and easier for Tony to just get more damage. What's he going to damage? 45% in the blink of an eye. And... Okay, he's actually went up on stage because of that clipping on the PK Thunder. Great read. That down smash covering a lot of options. Again, with the up smash, it's not enough to kill, but we're seeing this. It feels like the end, the way that last game ended is just an extension of that. Kevin's never able to establish himself in center stage. And dash attack. The last hit doesn't connect, but it actually puts Kevin off stage in a terrible place. That 3K Thunder is almost enough to do it. And okay. This is... It's so difficult when you are that high percent against Ness because he can't come back. You saw right there, he barely, barely overextended. He absolutely just exploded for it. Ness's moves are going to come out so fast and they kill so hard at that closer range when you're trying to actually follow through. Oh, she shielded in time. Yo, the ultimate bait. Oh, I love this taste in some Tony Pajamas. That's the sort of situation where I feel like earlier on he would just throw in a PK, th PK fire. Kevin started to adapt with the, uh, with the cape, and you see the adaptation right back. Tony right now doing a fantastic job maintaining and just further. You know, this lead is getting worse and worse by the second. Oh, what was that? Forward smash. I'm pretty sure that was a buffered option that he was probably not really looking for. Oh, man, able to cover so much. Kevin just not able to get off of the ledge. Back air, I think that was back air. Not enough to, that probably wasn't back air. Back air would have killed. Uh, but yeah, he's yet to take Tony's first stock, and he's done. Taken all the way down to his last life here. Oh, such a grim position to be in. And one thing is we just haven't seen Kevin go for his crazy punishes. We, I... Normally, I expect Kevin to touch the opponent and do 60% minimum, maybe even kill them out of nowhere. But Tony, he hits him once, maybe twice, and then he gets a neutral air out of his own combo. Just the punish game isn't there, and meanwhile, Tony's just hitting him once and trapping him at the ledge for 90, 100 damage. Even that back throw is not enough, 144%. And the PK Thunder, yeah, at this point, uh, Kevin's too scared to go off stage. Meaning that Tony is now more comfortable going for that upbeat. All right, finally cinching it with the up smash, but there's still a lot, a mountain of work that needs to be done here for Kevin. Okay, that back air to forward tilt. The thing is like, 
That's nice damage, but it's only 20%. He needs to be going for as much mileage as he can off of any hit, because it feels like the, the, the hits become rarer and rarer. And oh, the rising up there against neutral air. He's just spamming it. He just knows. He's recognizing that, you know, all of Kivine's openers are kind of unsafe on hit. Alright, oh man. Okay, back air. Oh, that's, is that it? Dead? You might be. Yeah, eh, that'll do it. After such a close nail biter of a game one, game two, kind of a blowout. Tony just adjusting, figuring out what the game plan was. He realized what he needed to do. Just